Hi and welcome to this week's video. This week we are going to be using the Royal Palm Resin Thin. We're going to be making a set of knife scales and two different sets of pen blanks. We're going to be using some Caster's Choice Lime Green, Paradise Blue, some Normal Ocean Blue of Alumalite Colours and White. All, all the colours and this product comes from the House of Resin or metalclays.co.uk Now this is a casting I'm not going to be using pressure or vacuum for I'm just going to be making it, we're going to cut them up, we're going to see what they're like This is a, the thin, so it's very watery, I don't know if you can see that in there, it's very very watery So it should disperse the bubbles okay to be honest with you. Now the mixture on this is two to one volume so two to part A to one to part B. So there's no measuring involved. I've got some plastic cups here and I've put um, I need 200 of the A to 100 of the part B. I'll then be mixing it. We've got a good pot time on this resin. It's about 45 minutes I think. So we've got loads of time and I am going to just hold on to the colours for a little bit just for it to thicken up or to heat up a little bit anyway before we pour in so that we don't get too much colour separation and um, also we do get so yeah so that the colours don't mix so yeah I thought I would do this one this is a really good resin that is available from metal clays obviously and um, it, you know those that don't have pressure pots and everything I thought we'd do this so this is going to be a lovely project to do get some nice palm blanks so I've got oak there elm and this is a little bit of oak burr as well we'll see if the resin will get down into all of those bits so we'll get started I'll get some gloves on and we'll start getting going and getting this mixed up I've got some of these silicone spatulas here which I'll use for the stirring. I quite like the volume ones because it's pretty easy I find for the measurements. Pretty straightforward. So that's 200 there. So that's the part A. Part B now, so we need 100 mils. This is an epoxy resin. Just a lot thinner than the amazing clear cast. together. The great thing about the epoxies really is this massive open time that you get. So there's no rush working with your colours and everything so it means you can add lots and lots of colour into them. see the mixing of it there is really easy you get that little ribbons in it I've got a bit of bark in there with the looks of it you get that little ribbons in there I don't know if you can see that very well when you're stirring it and what you basically do is you're going to stir it until all of those have gone and then that means that you mixed it properly this is really thin it's not quite water but it's not far off it Remembering to scrape all the sides and the bottom. You see how much clearer that is now. These are really very, very clear blanks as well that these make. I'm going to pour it back into this and remix it it's just because it's easier if uh, when these containers dry I can just reuse them I'm 
Okay, so we've got 300 mils in here. I'm going to divide this up to four containers. Just making sure I've got that mixed properly. I'm not mixing any particular way, I'm just mixing as I would normally mix any resin because that's a real test. Oh, we've got some little plastic, little paper pots here. Lollipop sticks. And we'll get this divided between the four. So we're just going four equal sizes. The colours are really good mixing. We'll come back and give those another stir in a minute. Now we don't need to put this obviously anywhere so once we've um, got it poured into the container I, I'm just going to leave it out overnight. This can take, this resin can take between 20 24 and 48 hours to cure so it does take a little bit longer but you know you haven't got the expense of all the pressure pots and stuff like that so and if you're just doing the odd blank for yourself it's perfect really There we go. Now I'll check the temperature of these to start with because we're going to wait and see if we can let them heat up a bit. So it's roughly around about 76, 77 there. And we need it to get to, for the best optimal um, not letting the colours blend together, we'll be talking about 120. But we're looking at trying to get these blanks in here bubble free. So I definitely don't want it to be thick. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep an eye on it. We're going to watch the temperature go up. I'm going to keep an eye on the consistency of this and make a decision, I think, as we go along as to when we pour this. I mean, you could go and pour these all straight in and that's your pen blanks done. Um, leave it for a couple of days, come back and go and cut them. But we'll have a go and we'll see how high we can let the temperature get before I think it gets too thick to pour in the mould. So I'll come back when it's ready and I'll be able to let you know what temperature we're at. I 
okay so I have left those probably about 20 minutes and they have heated up a bit now I'm not wanting to leave them any longer because I don't want them to get too thick because it defeats the whole point of using this resin so as you can see they're still pretty watery we'll check the temperature in this and again in a second so we're talking about 97 there temperature so it's a good bit heated up Right, and we should get this poured in. I'm not going to stir any of these we shall just let them come out as they are just pour just the right amount of resin there so I'm just going to basically leave them right where they are now and we shall come back and have a look what they're like and get them demolded. It's amazing the movement that's going on in this one. So we'll wait and see if I can manage to keep some of the the separation at even pouring them at that and still get bubble free blanks. I'm noticing there's lots of bubbles coming up around there but I'm not actually I'm not actually too worried about that as long as there's no bubbles actually in the the blanks inside when I cut them. Okay, welcome back so that's them they've actually been sitting for a few days now because uh, I went away to work but they were actually solid the next morning after I cast this so let's have a look a few voids in the bottom there that's to be expected really because of the wood but I don't think that will be any issue at all looks pretty fine too and so does that the real test now will be when I cut them up so we're going to go away and cut them up sand them clean them get them all prepared and then we'll come back and I shall show you then and then we'll think about getting one turned okay so that's some all cut up so there's quite a good variety with these ones with the burr it's it, it often is quite difficult to get um, a good casting without putting it in pressure but I have to say it looks pretty good in fact it looks amazing um, this one here obviously this was a, a, a very um, big burr just it was like just the corner bits there is some voids in the burr that's normal um, you can see there's some slight bubble in there I'm not worried about any of that I think these will turn really well 
and I actually just use because um, even in normal turning with burrs sometimes you'll get a void in it even with pressure um, so I'd be quite happy turning those and um, just filling them using I just continue to use the caster's choice I would use the same colours and just two part five minute epoxy and fill it like that and it actually fills and you don't even notice it so this is a casting that has had no pressure um, was just basically sat out I managed to get quite good colour separation it's not bad um, and that was leaving it I can't rightly remember the temperature now but I didn't leave it as long as I would normally leave my others but you know as you can see there I've got some nice whites in there that's usually the teller is on your white and I definitely have that so I've got good colour separation with the resin so the palm resin really if you don't have the option for pressure or vacuum this is definitely the route to go down um, I'm really really pleased with these blanks um, it's a beautiful resin to work with it works exactly the same as any other epoxy it's just that it's more viscous and all the air bubbles come out of it the next part to this and um, which will be a separate video I'm going to go away and turn I think I'll maybe turn two of them I'll turn one of these and turn one of these and we're going to have a look at any problems that I come up with but I I honestly it'll be no more problems than I come up with pres pressure or vacuum Um, you know they these are just as good as as having those so if you are looking for a resin that you don't need to degas the palm resin royal palm thin from metal clays is just an, a perfect alternative for you out there so i really hope you enjoyed this video there will be another video coming very soon and i shall turn these um couple of pens and it'll be a second a second one onto it but i hope you enjoyed and this gives you the option um i know palm resin is available well, it's in the us and the uk now so and i'm sure it's available in other places check the website for other stuff if you're in the uk it's metalclays.co.uk Thank you very much for watching.